Welcome to Aerin channel and welcome back to SolidWorks Sheer Metal Course. In this video, we're going to look at sketch pens. Now, these are pens that are made in a very similar way to the jog feature, but they only give us one single pen instead of those two offset pens that we get with the jog. They are quite simple to use and they are quite similar to the jog feature in that firstly, we just need a single sketch line for the pen. So let's open our file that we've been working with. And as usual, we can delete all of the features apart from the base flange. So we should just have a single base flange like this. Then let's start a sketch on this top face by clicking on it and pressing sketch. And then go to a normal 2 view, like this. So we are looking down straight on the base line from the top. Then next, we can get the line tool and let's just draw a vertical line all the way down from the top edge of the base flange down to the bottom. Then we can set the dimension. I'm gonna say as 40. So it should look something like this. Now from within the sketch, we can choose sketch pen. It's this one here, just below the joke. And here on the left, we got some options that are pretty similar to the joke really. The first thing we need to do is choose the fixed face. So this is the face that won't be bent and won't move. In this case, let's choose this left hand section. And then we can see on the preview, Basically, a pen is just added wherever that sketch line is drawn. As usual, we've got all of the different pen position options. Here we've got a pen outside, material outside, material inside, and pen center line. Then here we can change the direction and the angle, and then we can change the pen radius and the pen allowance if we need to. If we press OK, the sketch pen is just added. Then here in the design tree, we've got the actual sketch pen feature. And then underneath, we've got the sketch itself. That's got the line in it. And then we've got the pen itself. We can also select the feature before we have a sketch drawn. And it will prompt us to draw a new sketch. So we could draw something like this. Gonna draw from the top and add an angled line. Something like this. Then we can choose the fixed face, that large section in the middle again, and press OK. And now this angled pen is added. And this pen here is a good example of why we might use the sketch pen option. It's much easier to create this sort of angled pen. If we wanted to make this using just an edge flange, then we probably have to cut away that corner first and then add an edge flange. So it's just an extra operation that we don't really need. Another advantage of using sketch pens is that we can always know the exact size of the initial flat sheet. So if I drop that before that pen, then we know that this base flange is always 100 by 200, no matter what kind of pen we put onto it. If we start with this base flange and then added edge flanges to it, depending exactly on where the pens were positioned, we might get a slightly different overall size. In general, we don't really have to think about this issue because it only really comes into play if we've got a non-standard pen allowance and slightly non-standard pens. And then usually it's only a very small difference. But it's just something to consider and be aware of if the accuracy of our final part is very important. Then maybe consider sketching out a flat piece and then adding sketch pens instead of using edge flanges. So to recap, a sketch pen is as simple as it sounds. It's just a pen along a sketch line. We can either sketch the line first and then select the feature or we can select the feature and then draw a sketch as part of the feature. Then we can select the fixed face and the pen details. In the next video, we're going to look at cross breaks. It'll be quite a short video because these are very specialist feature. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like. I hope it can be a little helpful and useful.